Hey everyone, Koban Armani456 here today. And yeah, so this is another NG uh, Sony PS Vita video versus the Nintendo 3DS. I keep still thinking about the NGP for some reason, but whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, so you may have seen my video yesterday about um, the Sony NG the Sony PS Vita. Gosh, Sony PS Vita versus the Nintendo 3DS. And I was talking about how the the PS Vita is like so much more advanced, like graphically um in the hardware and then i liked how the dual analogs were there and the um, more powerful processors but then i also talked about the 3ds and um how i like the 3d effect a lot and then i kind of went through the flaws since i've actually been able to experience the game and i don't know i think some people actually um thought i was like switching sides or something like i was a fanboy or something to sony now because um I actually lost a few subscribers, <laughs> but um, anyway, whatever. Uh, though I actually thought about it yesterday, like, how do I think, um, like, how would I decide which system is better, or which system do I think would be better? And then I thought about it. So yeah, today I'm gonna give you basically the verdict. I mean, of which one I'd like, I'd prefer, because um. I mean, I might do another opinions video later when I actually do get a PS Vita, but uh, right now I'm just going to tell you what I think for now. Um, here's a question I asked myself, and you should ask yourself, which system would you buy in a heartbeat? I, when, I, when I asked myself that question, I immediately said 3DS. Because, I don't know, it's just that certain charm from Nintendo. I love the 3D effect and how innovative that is now. Because, I mean, 3D with no glasses um, is really expensive everywhere else you go. And the 3D effect is actually pretty good. I mean, some games so far haven't really taken advantage of the 3D effect um, as well as they could. But there are a lot of first-party titles coming out that are going to really take advantage of the 3D. Um, if you have a 3DS, make sure you go onto the eShop and uh, download the Kid Icarus E3 trailer. You can actually see the true 3D effects of that game. I gotta say, they are strong and the best 3D effects I've ever seen on the 3DS. So definitely check that out. And, you know, even through all the flaws of the 3DS, like no an dual analogs, and um, I still think it's... I still think it's like my favorite system I've had so far um I bought it with my own money and I definitely wasn't going to buy the 3ds any later I couldn't wait anymore for the system I bought it immediately at launch with the PS Vita I am really excited about the system but the thing is is that I don't know I've always seen high quality graphics like that already I mean I usually am home anyway so I don't really need like all that stuff to where you can stream to your where like you can play on your PS Vita or your PS3 so I mean that's very great and all I mean that's a great idea but it's not something that I really need so I'm I might or might not get the um, PS Vita at launch I'm gonna get one but might not get it at launch you know that's the thing that made me decide that I'd pro that 3DS in my opinion is probably better because I was not I did not doubt whether I was going to get the 3DS at launch or not. I knew immediately when I saw that thing I was going to start saving up for money and start saving up money and um, for games and the 3DS because I knew this thing is going to be amazing and I want some 3D and I want I love how innovative Nintendo is. Another thing is that, you know, it's kind of weird. I just don't like the people who are at Sony. I mean, Nintendo, they've always been known to kind of ignore their competitors. And people think, oh, Nintendo's so cocky and all that stuff. But I really see it the other way around. Like, Nintendo, they have, they pretty much like trust. They have enough trust and, um, what is it, self-esteem, I guess. Like, to know that their system is good and that they think they're not going to set their standard with another company's system. Like the Sony NG, the Sony PS Vita. I mean, that thing is way lower than what it should be. I mean, p they will get profits, 
if they sell enough of them, but right now they're it's un underpriced. So it makes you wonder, um, is Sony trying to set their standard on the 3DS? Like, do, are they actually genuinely um, afraid of the 3DS to where they want to sell their system? They're, like, they're not confident enough to sell their system at the price they think it's actually worth. Or Nintendo, I mean, I hate that they don't give demos or anything like that. But they actually price their stuff on what they think it's worth and are confident that it'll sell well. So, that's another thing. And also, I just don't like the douche Jack Treadin. I mean, I just don't want my money going to him. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, I'm going to say for now, 3DS is the winner. So yeah, I'm sorry if y'all like didn't like how I kind of bashed the 3DS yesterday about the graphics and all that stuff. But you know... I'm giving you my honest opinion. I mean, I, I'm not a fanboy, so I'm not good, just going to stand up for a company just because I like them when I know that it's flawed, when there's some things that are flawed. So, I mean, I'm going to give a company its props, and I'm going to give a company constructive criticism. I'm not going to say everything's, like, super amazing when everything isn't. But anyway, yeah, that's it. So that's enough of me speaking for now. But yeah, I just wanted to give you my opinion. So the final verdict for now is that the 3DS is the winner and that I would buy that system in a heartbeat, which I did, over the PS Vita. So, because if they launched at the same time, I would get a 3DS before the PS Vita. But um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Kabana 9456 signing out. Peace, everyone. Please remember to comment, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more 3DS vids, walkthroughs, um, PS Vita and Wii U updates, and Sonic Generations updates. So, yeah. Shia and later.